I was uh, watching some stuff this morning on YouTube, and it got me uh, kind of interested. You know, they have this, the administration is trying to pass this in inflation reduction bill. Now, you know, every time they name some bill something positive, you know, it's going to be a, a big negative. It's going to have nothing to do with the title, and this is another one. But part of this, I mean, there's a lot of parts. You know, they, they can't ever pass a clean bill. It's got to be something with all kinds of other garbage added in. But this particular one... I think it's going to be the last straw. They uh, want to hire, what is it, 87,000 new IRS agents. Now, they've been buying up weapons and ammunition for a long time for the IRS. So here they're building this huge like military arm of the IRS? That's just weird. You know, that's, that's just... But I think, you know, like I said, they try to do as much harm as they can while they can. You know, they know that their, their chances are dwindling here, so this is kind of like their last shot. But the amazing thing is that you will find Republicans that go along with this. You know, why anybody would, you know, if you'd look at that, you'd say, oh, no, they can't. But they're going to try to weasel that through. But no good will come of that. You know they aren't going to be targeting uh, the people who actually should be targeted. They let them slide all the time. It's going to be the little guy that's going to get nailed with this. Because they know, you know, like, if they send somebody a threatening letter and say they owe a few hundred dollars, well, the chances are they're going to pay that money rather than go through. Even if they don't legitimately owe it, they will pay it rather than have to get a lawyer and, and fight this. They'll go on for years and their bank accounts will be seized and... You know, so they pay it, and that's what they're going to do. Well, that's a dirty way of working. But yet, you know, all these big politicians, <laughs> they all got huge tax bills that they never pay. They just let them slide all the time. But <clears throat> this this is not going to end well. But the good thing is that I think this will be finally uh, the one trigger that will really start a revolution. Because people, you know, they, you can only put up with so much. Uh, it's amazing what people have put up with it, but they, you know, it's like that boiling water in a frog, just slowly keep turning the heat up. But I think this will be the point. I, I think that'll, that'll do it. God, I hope so. But we don't need, you know, that's a huge force compared to any other government agency or, like I heard it, like a lot of agencies all combined don't have that many people. And then to arm them? You know, that's just a, a, an implicit threat. You know, these aren't all mild-mannered bookkeepers sitting in an office someplace. These people are going to be militant <laughs> FBI or IRS agents. That's crazy, you know, you look at how they weaponized like the whole judicial system and like the FBI, Homeland Security, all this. Now they're going to weaponize the IRS, which really shouldn't even exist. God, that's a crazy thought. But, well, it, it, it sounds like they're going to push it through. Maybe even today. 
But damn, if somebody doesn't stand up to them sometime, you know, this, it's got to end.